Hello, today I'll walk you through the basics of color correction uh, using the primaries panel in the color page. Uh, and we'll particularly focus on uh, contrast, uh, which I think is one of the, the, the most important building blocks of a clean and a balanced image. Okay. First, uh, in the media pool, uh, you can see uh, the sample footage I've already imported. Uh, let's go ahead and drag and drop it into our uh, timeline. Now, uh, before we jump into the color page, I want to take a moment to, uh, to check our project settings. You know, uh, making sure your timeline is set up uh, correctly is really essential for the, the accurate uh, display of the footage uh, and therefore also very important for uh, proper color grading. To do that, uh, let's go down uh, to the bottom right corner and click on the gear, the small click icon to open the project settings window. Here in the master settings, I've uh, already adjusted the timeline resolution and also frame rate to match the specs of uh, my footage. By the way, you can see those specs here uh, in the inspector's uh, section. If you click into the color management tab, uh, you'll see that I've set the color signs to DaVinci YRGB Color Managed, uh, which is, I think, a great choice, uh, especially if you are a beginner or also if you are working on a fast turnaround uh, project. Uh, this setting makes it much easier uh, to work with different, you know, types of footage uh, as Resolve uh, can automatically adjust the input color space uh, based on the, the camera's uh, metadata or the footage, the footage's uh, metadata. In my case, uh, the sample footage was shot with a red camera and using this uh, setting, uh, you know, uh, this uh, color managed workflow, make sure the image is displayed in the correct uh, color space automatically without me, you know, without needing to apply any manual uh, transforms. Now, let's close this window and uh, head over to the color page to begin uh, our grade. Okay, here you see our first note and we'll use it uh, to adjust contrast. We can name it to be more organized, you know. Now, while you can do this by eye, it's much better to work with uh, scopes to get precise and, uh, you know, consistent uh, results. For contrast adjustments, you can use either the parade or the waveform scope. Uh, personally, I prefer the waveform, so let's switch to that by going to the scopes panel and selecting uh, waveform. So, how does the waveform work? The horizontal axis, uh, you know, from left to right, we can say, represents the image, the footage from left to right. So, what you see in the scope aligns with what is happening in your uh, actual shot, the footage, uh, spatially. Uh, the vertical axis, on the other hand, shows uh, the, bright, uh, the, the, the brightness levels. Uh, the bottom of the scope represents uh, pure black, uh, or we can say zero brightness. Uh, this is your shadow details. And the top represents pure white, or maximum brightness. Uh, so this is your highlights. Now. Most natural looking images will have a range of uh, values that spread from uh, somewhere near the bottom to near the top. But of course, not too crushed or, uh, you know, at the bottom or not too blown out, uh, you know, uh, at the top for the highlights. As you can see, our image here is lacking uh, deep blacks. Uh, that's why it looks a bit washed out. Uh, we can confirm this by looking at the waveform scope, uh, where there is a noticeable gap between the bottom of the graph and the, the zero line. Uh, that means our shadows aren't reaching true black, 
Uh, to fix this, we'll use the primary color wheels found under the primary section. Uh, here, lift controls the lift wheel, controls the shadows, the bottom of the waveform. Gamma adjusts, adjusts the mid-tones and gain adjusts the highlights. And on the very right, the offset wheel uh, affects the entire image, you know, as a whole. Now, let's start by using the lift wheel to gently bring the shadows down, getting them closer to the zero line on the waveform. But be careful not to crush the blacks, as I said. Uh, you know, we don't want to lose any details there. Okay. The highlights in this image are already pretty close to the top of the waveform, so we don't need to uh, touch the gain wheel, at least for now. But instead, let's focus on the mid-tones. Uh, they're staying a bit too high, uh, uh, you know, closer to the top of the waveform, uh, and that, that therefore giving the image an overall bright and flat look. For that, we'll use the gamma wheel to bring them down slightly. As you adjust it, uh, watch how the mid-level areas in your image, uh, like skin tones in particular, start to look more natural uh, and balanced. Okay, this is good, but it also brought down the shadows further down. So now let's do a little fine-tuning with the lift, gamma and gain wheels. wheels. Uh, until the image looks uh, more balanced to your eye uh, and the waveform shows a healthy uh, distribution from dark to light. Okay, I think it is good enough. Now, I want to show you a quick trick uh, that can be helpful if, uh, you know, if you are in a rush or if you just want to get a, get a, get a good starting point, let's say, before making any uh, manual adjustments with the primary wheels. First, let's reset this note to start fresh. Now, what we are going to do is tell DaVinci Resolve uh, which part of the image should be true black and it will automatically make an adjustment for us. Looking at the image, I can see that this area uh, right here uh, looks like the darkest part of the image. Uh, let's zoom in to get a closer look. Okay, now we'll grab the... Okay, now we'll grab this black point uh, picker uh, right next to the lift wheel and click on that uh, dark spot. Just like that. Resolve adjust the image for us, almost like uh, magic. Now let's zoom back out uh, so we can see the full frame. Uh, you can press Z to do that. Okay, looking better. Next we'll do the same for the white point, using the white point picker next to the gain wheel this time. The brightest area in the image uh, looks like it's right between their arms. So let's click there. There we go. We have a more balanced image, but of course I know this method isn't perfect, but it gives you a solid starting point uh, at least. And from here you can make any fine tune adjustments using the primary wheels uh, as we did uh, with the other one before. Perfect. So that wraps up this short uh, presentation on uh, contrast in DaVinci Resolve. Uh, of course, this is not a full uh, deep dive into contrast. Uh, DaVinci Resolve is, you know, such a powerful tool with uh, many different ways to uh, approach color grading. So you can do the same adjustment using different tools. Uh, but this gives you at least a solid uh, introduction to reading scopes, you know, like the waveform, and also using basic uh, primary tools, uh, the wheels, uh, to get your footage looking more uh, balanced. So, thanks so much for watching. 
and a happy reading.